Hey everybody, I'm Lee Williamson and today I'm going to teach you how to make a Mega Man death explosion in Cinema 4. Uh, in Cinema 4D. Let's dig in. Let's use a primitive sphere. We'll animate the radius going from 0 to 100 and back to 0. Let's use a torus next. Let's set the pipe radius to 20 centimeters. Now the ring is only there when the circle is at its largest. So let's set a keyframe for when it's visible and when it's not. We want to do the same thing with a sphere to make sure that it turns off and the ring turns on. Right, now let's loop the animation. We can click Summary, that way we loop all of the animation, the torus and the sphere. Under Attributes, you can choose Offset, Repeat, and send the loops to about 100. Let's drag this into a cloner next and choose radial and set the count to 10. I will scale my cloner down so it has more space to travel in. Next, we'll animate the radius so the balls can animate off the screen. Since we're animating at a constant speed, we want to set the keyframes to linear. Next, we'll go into the track properties and choose continue. This way, the radius just continues to increase and increase forever. Next, we want the rings to look at the camera that way. Any angle that you are with the animation, the rings will always point towards the camera. For this, you will need a target tag.
I'd probably be better if I put the target tag on the planer itself. That way everything rotates towards the camera. The pins are still not lining up, so I'll just change its rotation position to 90. The rings still don't travel out far enough, so I will just set the radius out a little bit further. That's better, I'm happy with that. Let's take it into After Effects Mix and see how we can improve this further. VGA FI Design has this cool uh, pixelated plugin, which does exactly what the name says. It makes the animation look pixelated. I'll be sure to send a link to his website where you can get the, uh, the plugin. It's free or you can get the paid version, which is pretty darn cheap and has a couple of awesome extra features. Right, I hope you guys enjoyed what I uh, shared today. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. And if you were able to implement this into your own workflow, by all means, tweet me so that I can see what you've done. Cheers.